What's up guys, JP bringing you guys a little bonus review here in the month of October and what we have here is coming to us courtesy of Olive Films and it is 1958's, I'm going to try to say this correctly, The Monster of Piedras Blancas. I'm not really too good at uh, my s Spanish or whatever type of pronunciations, even though I am Mexican, which, uh, you know, I'm kind of fail at that. Anyway, this film follows a small little town where bodies start to pile up and they find a scale of a prehistoric amphibious monster reptilian creature thing. I uh, don't really know the details specifics on what it actually is, but it's essentially like Gill Man, the creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, and that's pretty much what this film is. It feels like a ripoff of uh, Gill Man, and uh, I'm not saying that in a bad way because it actually is a fun little monster movie. It, it, it goes at a nice little pace. It's only about 71 minutes long, so uh, it's a great type of film to kick off the October season. Uh, just a, a quick little watch. Uh, it, it's these type of films I really do enjoy. It's just it's simple. It's at a simpler time where things didn't matter that much. Could have asked for a little bit more monster action though. There's not a whole lot in this film, um, but you know it doesn't. It, he doesn't look the best either. But it, it's all right. It's not bad. It's not a bad movie. Uh, I enjoyed it. I give it a five out of ten. Check it out, all the films. Uh, if you can get it on the cheap, definitely a good way to spend day or week number one in October. So see you guys next time with another review. Peace.